I've um, upgraded my London Underground battery locos um, to be powered up now and it has a sensor the other loco has a sensor too um, within it I'm not using a normal train motor I'm using a medium Technic motor and the hub it goes in this bit here this is the battery cover I'm just going to remove it so I can put the hub in this is a little bit fiddly I've got to get my nails in there to pull it up and there we go the cover's off let's put this out of the way all right if we look inside see the two plugs one for the motor and one for the sensor and we're going to mount our battery box in that void so here's our battery box or hub should i say um i've already put all the batteries in the cradle so i'm going to pop them into the hub there we go but i'm not going to put the bottom on it because it just gives me a bit more clearance when i mount it into the loco so let's pop it in it's a little bit fiddly but it does go in there we go it goes in on its side yes put the plugs in first that's the plugs in right now we're just gonna maneuver it into position there we go just have to push the wires in a bit there we go brilliant it's all snug there we go we'll pick it up we can have a look we've got quite a bit of clearance there with the uh, bottom of the hub removed and i'm going to do exactly the same with the blue loco and now we open up the lego powered up app because we're going to do a little bit of code to run this train uh, so we click on create top right and then click on the big red circle with the plus in it uh, we'll give it a name uh, how about LU battery locos Let's see if it'll fit nope well what about um, LU locos are do would not it there we go it's accepted that right click on coding and now we start with our green start button uh, we're going to need a motor symbol for each train for each loco um, so we need two let's bring up the first one that's the yellow one that'll be for the blue one then we're going to need uh, a color sensor symbol we're only going to use the color sensor in the yellow loco we don't need it in the blue this is going to control both trains so now we need stop Yep, stop one, stop two, so stop the yellow and stop the blue train. Um, and then what I'll probably do, I think, is put a timer at the end. And then we're going to stick it in a forever loop. First we'll put five seconds on the timer. So we just stop it. And where's the forever loop? There we go. Let's put it all in there. Let's put it, oh, all right, we'll sort it out in a minute. Anyway, we'll go through the hubs. So there we go, hub for each train and put on stop the motor stop symbols and now we've got define that that's hub one that'll be the yellow train the next one will be hub two that'll be the blue train and we're missing the hub there we go we'll just leave that as hub one because it's going to be the yellow train and put it as port b because that's where the sensor is um, and now we've got to do hub two on the blue train there stick it all in the forever loop and there we go that's our bit of code brilliant so now we've got to link up with our trains through bluetooth let's click on the bluetooth icon there we go and just press the button should sync up there we go it's gone green so that's hub one and now we need a hub two click on that click on the blue one wait for it to go green there we go both trains are set now both hubs are synced up they're both connected to the ipad we'll um put the battery covers back on stick the uh locos onto the track and we'll give it a test run um we'll just go back to our code there's our code that we're using um 
the speeds are set the same so we may have to adjust them because every motor is different and there we go the blue one's slightly faster so we'll adjust the speed okay so now the train's all hitched up there we go we've got two carriages or two wagons and <clears throat> all we've got to do is press play on our ipad Red tire is there so it should stop there for five seconds and let's go it's not the fastest trains but it is an engineering train so it's not designed to go particularly fast but it works let's see it stop at the red tile it should hang around for five seconds and off we go a lot of squeaking <laughs> it's probably the friction on the wheels for the uh, wagons they need a little bit of oil or a bit of silicon grease that does the trick and um, so i'll do that at some point Well, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you later. Bye.